All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mod six to the sky. Guys, last episode, we set up our cobble gen. We got a whole bunch of sieves made, and we set up this cool platform. It was pretty cool. But uh, today, we're going to be continuing our quest line here. And at the last episode, I forgot to claim that. Uh, so we do need to get some more cobblestone being uh, kind of smelted, I guess you could call it. Uh, we need that going there for now. And we need to work on a heat source. Flint and steel, uh, netherrack is actually going to be difficult. Um, actually, not that difficult, but we do need to get some dust. Because if we look here for netherrack, we can go here to the fluid item transformation. If we, if we fill up a wooden barrel with lava and click it with redstone, we get netherrack. But how do you get netherrack? Or how do you get redstone, right? Well, if we look here... You can go to the sieve, and if you do it to dust, it'll do it. Um, let's see. Oh, real quick. So netherite mesh is a 25% chance of dropping. Emerald is a 25% chance. I don't know the difference between netherrack and emerald, but uh, yeah, that's that's how it goes. So that's melting up now. We're going to convert this over to lava here pretty shortly. But in the meantime, we need to go ahead and get some flint and steel. Now, the cool thing is I have been kind of sifting through quite a bit of gravel. Um, and we do have a little bit of iron made up here. We have a total of seven. So I think a great tool that we should make is... Uh, da, 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 da. For one, a wand. Yes, iron wand. Very cool. All right, and then we need to make our flint and steel. There you are, flint. I don't know why I'm going in the crafting table for this. Bam, flint and steel crafted up. No problemo. So cool, because we want to go ahead and make our way to this today, but we do need quite a bit of stuff. A linking tool. Ooh. The poppies. Interesting. Okay, so we'll have to worry about that in a little bit here, but let's take a look. All right, so a dirty idea. Ancient spore. Yeah, that's from dirt. Um, that'll make us the mycelium. So why don't we go ahead and kind of work on getting that process set up? Because uh, we need another wooden barrel. Uh, so let's go ahead here. Like a so. All right, wooden barrel, super duper easy. Those were vertical slabs, by the way, which is a beautiful sight to see. Bam, okay. So we've got those. If we put the saplings in there, we can make dirt. Yes, so dirt is now renewable for us. We do have a little bit of dirt here that we are gonna put in. And what do we get? Holy heck, that was a lot of stuff. Um, potato seeds, large fern seeds, grass seeds, fern seeds, pumpkin seeds, oak slab. All right, let's get those in there so we can pick everything up. Did we get any ancient spores? We did not. That's kind of, kind of uh, boring. So, let's see. We got melons, cool, normal wheat seeds, potatoes, granite, uh, stone, diorite, large fern, fern, Sweet berry, bamboo, acacia, pumpkin seeds, grass seeds, sugarcane seeds, and beetroot seeds. Not bad. Oh, and andesite. Not bad at all. I say it's a pretty good haul. And the dirt has been made. Ancient de debris. No ancient debris. But we did get an oak seed. And cactus seeds. Cool. Okay, so now we can go ahead and make some cool things. All right. All right, guys. So I have sifted through quite a lot of stuff. As you can see, we have a lot of resources here, and we have up to 32 iron. So we're going to be going ahead and upgrading all of our five of these flint meshes from here to the iron tier so we can start to get some diamonds. And so we can start to move along in our process. So the reason we're doing this is because we need to get a diamond hammer to get the automatic camera so I don't have to continue to mine cobblestone and place it back down and such. So now if we take gravel to this, do I have any left over? 
We can make some here really fast. All right, we got some gravel here. Now we should just be able to use it. Oh, so it's gonna use all of it. Um, so we do have the chance to get some diamonds through here. It's a very low chance, like a 0.08% chance of getting it. But it does mean we get some new uh, appetite, I guess. And we do have a higher chance of getting iron from it. So I'm gonna continue to do this for a while. And we'll see if we can get some more of that going. All right, guys. So we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different here. We do have a full lava bucket created here. Uh, so what we are going to be doing is is grabbing that lava bucket. Uh, we do need ah one more iron ingot. Did I get any more from that? We have a total of three. Uh, Ooh, so I smelted up some dust, guys, and we got ourselves some redstone. That is fantastic, because not only that, but I have put our lava bucket over here, added two more of these fired crucibles, so these are all producing lava. We do have that here. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, oh, we need the stone one. That is correct. Bam. All right, and then this is the cobblestone generator that we're going to be making... Um, Let's see, can we get some some iron out of this? All right, because we just need one more piece of iron. Yes, we got our other piece. Perfect. Uh, what do we not need too much? Uh, we don't need too much gunpowder right now. All right, and then that is going to have to wait a minute. And there we go. So now we go like this. We get our bucket. We get that guy. Um, and then we need a piece of glass, which isn't too difficult to make. We break you. Break you again. All right, now we just smelt this guy up into that. And then we grab... Any total of six, count them, six cobble. All right, and then that's done. So now we can cobblestone generate. Is this the one it wanted us to do? Uh, this one's a tier one. We made the tier two, so we'll probably have to go back later and do that. But if we place that there, we can make a storage drawer for it now. Okay. Just like that. Storage drawer, if we put it just on top. Yes, we are generating cobblestone, guys. We don't have to do anything. We just go AFK here. Now, I just thought about this cool method. If we just sit here with a hammer, we can turn this into a... Uh, to gravel just like this. So I am going to be going AFK like this from now on while we have the cobblestone generating up there to the left because that'll be good for you know that. But I just go AFK and do this now. This is, just, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. All right guys, so did quite a bit of processing here. And as you can see, we have a total of two diamonds. So super duper excited about that. So what it does mean is we're gonna go ahead and make a diamond hammer because we wanna make a, if we look up hammer here, there's an auto version of this guy, the auto hammer. So we definitely wanna be making this guy. So it does require a bit of iron. We do have all of the iron smelted up for this. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so we need two pressure plates like so. Bam, bam. And there we go, we have our auto hammer. Quest completed, I think. Oh, did we do that? We do have the redstone for it. Let's go ahead and, oh, we need to, oh, that's why. Never mind, we're gonna wait on that. Um, let's see here, I believe this requires power. Yes, we need to look into a generator. <sighs> what do we have? We have like a survivalist generator, a pitiful generator. Uh, we can't make that one just yet. We need something a little bit less. 
solar panel. Could we make this a mirror, glass, and copper? I think we actually can. Uh, I don't think it'd be a bad idea to make it solar powered. Uh, so yeah, let's make let's make a solar panel, so that we don't have to you know like keep filling it up with anything. But I I do think, yeah, we can make a furnator. Um, we have everything to make it. Yeah, let's make the furnator instead. I think it'll be better off because we can just use the coal that we're getting to to grab it. Uh, yeah, each of these should have a bucket of lava in them now. Perfect. All right, so furnator, and then we'll also do a solar panel as well, just to show you guys. So we need three coal, two clay. We've got one clay. Got some dust, which we can use to make it a clay. Wow. That one just flew off the side. Okay. So go here. And we should be able to craft these guys up no problem. Perfect. We've got 24 of them. Let's make up a little bit more just because we can. Okay. So we've got those. We've got quite a bit of iron here. All right, so we just need two of these, so it means we only need to create one of those, and we can't. Uh, that's annoying. We don't have enough redstone for that stuff yet. We need to do that. Uh, looks like we're doing the solar panel for now. So let's go ahead and knock that out. Okay. All right, there we go. We got lots of sand. We're going to make the glass. So let's see, we're going to be using the lapis lazuli blocks because we do have lapis lazuli. We got quite a bit of it, actually. So we are definitely going to use this. And then what does it take to make like a tier two? Okay, so it takes quite a few of those and then a piston. So it takes at least eight. Um, I don't believe we have the copper to support that just yet. Um... One iron ingot. I actually think we do have enough to make the tier two. I think that's something we should really think about. Where did my sleeping bag go? There you are. All right, so let's go ahead and create up our first solar panel. Uh, so that made the mirrors there. And now we have everything we need for the solar panel. And then the next thing that we are going to do is move the cobblestone generator up one block so that we can put a uh, hopper down below to move the items over. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to take this guy, place it like so. Mm, so it has to be above. All right, so this thing is, in fact, working. However, this solar panel, it, it's really, really slow. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of avoid that for now. I mean, if we come back later, there'll be a lot of gravel there. But we need to go ahead and continue on with the, the quest line. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. We just need to put some lava into here. Yes. There's the lava. Put that there. And then we need one redstone like this. Bam. We've completed that quest from Ex Nelio. Okay. Now it wants us to make that tier one cobblestone generator. I think we might as well just go and do it to knock out the quest because maybe it gives us some like item cables to move this stuff along because I don't know how we're going to get it out of here uh, into the auto hammer automatically. Um, I don't know if there's a way to set that. Okay, so we're going to make the tier one 
All right, so we have done that. Let's see if they give us anything that might be useful. Uh, looks like we need a pedestal upgrade. Okay, so we need another block or... Okay, so we have the, the lava and water for that. How do we make that center guy? Whoops. It's weird if like you... Yeah, you gotta be careful. So this dude is made from a linking tool. Blue, green, red. Hmm. How do we get the red dye? Backwards linking tool. Okay, we can't craft that. Hmm. So we can get the cactus. How do we get those? I guess if we just bone mealed. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that makes me laugh. Okay. Got no dirt or anything. Crazy. All right. All we need is one diamond. So I'm going to start uh, trying to collect up some more gravel, and then we are going to uh, get the more diamonds. How many? How much gravel we got here? Ten. All right, so we got two. Oh, those linked up. I didn't know that. That's lame. It's within range. Okay. But yeah, we'll see how how much we can get. Uh, shoot, we need a lot of storage. Okay, guys, so it has been a little bit of time since the last clip. I've been AFK over here, just whacking away at this, and then just coming over here, and we've upgraded all these to iron meshes. Crazy, I know. Look at all the materials and stuff we have. We have so many. We are full. I have 52 diamonds, guys. <laughs> I mean, I did a little I did a little AFK mining off camera. Typical YouTube Minecraft YouTuber. But anyways, guys, yes, uh, we did go ahead and get quite a bit of redstone, which is the thing that we needed for the furnator, because uh, we need to go ahead and make this. So let me look here at uh, some of my iron that I have now. I just have a lot of it. We also need to find, yeah, these guys. Perfect. So that should be everything we have. And uh, let us go ahead and convert this into a block, because we only need one. All right, big guy here. That makes four. Very cool. So that's very efficient. Okay, and then we need this guy. So we need the iron bars. We'll just make a stack of those. All right, and then we can do that. And that should be that. And then all we need now is a... Furnace, I believe. Oop, didn't do that right. I think we just need a furnace, right? Yeah. All right, so the furnace is ours, just like that. And now we have the furnace. This will produce much more power than uh, the solar panel, so I'm very happy about that. We'll just throw it in the back there. Let's grab some coal that we have. And just do that as you can see it's gonna be going and I think the best way if we wanted to automate this we would make this a double chest and um, we would oh let's see if that actually works um, Ooh, I need an axe must ask you a question all right so mine this guy we're gonna mine this guy and let us see if putting a, oh, so this needs to be raised up one more block. Because we need to put a hopper in between the double chest. Because if we just put it there like that, there'd be no hopper there, so I need to go up one more block, which is okay. No big deal. 15, do we have one more piece of wood somewhere? Ah, we'll just it down all 
That was weird. Okay, and then we do actually need two more of these because we need to make the chest for the hopper. So we do that. Okay. So hopper here, chest, chest, and that. Is this working? It is working. Guys, it's working. Holy heck. Okay. Now we have a bunch of diamonds up here. So we're going to take four of these. We're going to convert to these into sticks. And we are going to make two diamond hammers for this guy over here. And it almost shouldn't even be able to like keep up. Weird. There's no durability coming off of this. All right, so how much is this producing? It should be 80 FE. Oh, generates only 15 FE. Why is that the thing? All right, so 15 FE per tick. That's not that good. Can we upgrade this? We can upgrade it to the next tier, which is basic. That generates 200. Oh, wait, that's max extract. Um, it generates 70 FE per tick. That's our next goal. Let's get everything ready for that. All right, so we just need another one of these guys and that dude. Very cool. Okay. Quick and easy upgrade to give us a lot more power. All right, there we go. And we should see this climbing. Yes, look at that. Now, if we take these out. I don't, I don't know if that improved it. Okay, but this is definitely moving along. All right, so we got this automated going over like that. Very cool. Uh, now we can make an auto sieve. Uh, we look here, sieve, mana sieve. We know we just want the auto one. All right, so that's actually very easy. We have all of the materials to make that. Though I don't know if we're gonna be able to automate it just yet. I do have an idea of how we can automate, but we are gonna need some uh, steel for that. We're just going to have to use a uh, mechanism for it, which is a kind of a bummer. Okay. <clears throat> so auto sieve is crafted up, which means I'm probably just going to have to take, um, like we'll set up a hopper with a chest and I'll just have to move the stuff over manually. Uh, but now if we do this, because this is generating uh, 70 FE per tick, this should be working. So... Let's get a mesh. I think we're just going to go all the way up to diamond with this guy. All right, there we go, because we got plenty of flint for it. Plenty of iron. We can go right to diamond. We could probably even go up to emerald if we truly wanted to. Let's freaking do it, you know? Why, why not? <gasps> who's who's going to stop us? Not the Minecraft people. <coughs> Guys, my allergies have been going nuts today. I've sneezed about 400 times, and I'm not kidding. It was like four times within a minute, like 20 minutes ago. Okay, so here we go. Put that guy in there. We're going to grab some of the gravel in here and get this farty parted. Who we got in there? Got Zeke the Geek. Zeke the Geek, if you're watching this, you're probably not going to be here for, in here for too long, so don't get used to it. Where'd the mesh go? Hello? Did I just lose the mesh? <gasps> there goes our emerald. Okay. If you, you guys saw it here, don't click that button. We just threw away those diamonds. Gone. Never get them back. And the emeralds. Gone. And the iron. Oh, that is annoying. Holy heck. Good thing is we should be able to do this pretty quickly again. Okay. Go 
glad you're working properly now. If we give this guy food, I believe he works faster too. Yep. 2.5 boost. We're getting Inferium from that. Cool. All right, uses here. If we look at the sieve, you can see that when we go to emeralds, this is everything we got. We got mana gems, arcane crystals, niter, diamonds. Have a 1.6%, so there's a higher chance of them dropping. Cool. Uh, and then this is continued. Cool. Okay, so we're going to get a lot of goodies from this, including a bunch of iron. We're even going to get uranium, prosperity. It's already filled. Holy heck, Batman. Okay, let's get, let's complete the quests here. Um, yes, didn't give me any rewards. That's that's nice. Okay, I guess we got that. Got a bunch of name tags. I might make an anvil and change the names on those because I really don't care for those people to be put in. I did not know that bucket was available. Um, let's see if we can make some of those mechanism machines. Because we got the coal and the iron to do it. Um, we need a infuser, right? Yeah, metallurgic infuser. We need one of these guys. Do we have any osmium yet? Gravel. We probably have osmium. Let's see. Unless you need the diamond tier in order to get it. Let's go check. We might have some in here. <gasps> yes, we do. Okay, you do need the diamond tier to get it. Frick. And so it's... So six times... It's 30 per row. So three, six, nine, twelve. It's 150 diamonds we need in order to upgrade all of these. <laughs> That's a lot. But the payoff should totally be worth it once we get the steel going. But we do need those osmium guys going. I think what we do is get a temporary setup down there. We're probably going to lose the chest, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, but we're going to put a double chest down there and a hopper to receive the items for us. Okay, so what we're going to do is break this guy. Please tell me I got to keep the mesh. I really don't want to build a sec another one. All right, so chest here, chest here, hopper here. It. I lost the mesh again. What the frick is their problem? I'm pretty sure I didn't lose it off the side. All right, 12 diamonds, 12 emeralds, freaking just wasted. All right, so this is going to start collecting all of our materials, so I'm pretty excited about that. Going to let this kind of just go for a bit. It's even going to generate some coal, I believe. Um, let's see. Yes, it should give us some coal. 
All right, very cool. Yep, we got some. Check it out. So it's going to be feeding itself for a little bit. Okay, so we got the four osmium that we need here, if you guys want to check it out. So I have this set up, right? goes into here. We got that being made. And then over here, I got a bunch of gravel going into this guy. And then it's pumping over here. So super duper uh, clean and neato. So we can just let that run for a while. Uh, so now we have the one osmium here. We're going to go ahead and get it smelted up. Uh, so then we're going to get everything else for the metallurgic infuser in lime. So you total of 16 of those guys. We need the two redstone there. Perfect. All right. And then, yes, yeah, going to turn those into Ferni. Got the osmium. And here's our metallurgic infuser. Very cool. We're going to be hijacking this power kind of from here. Yep, we got a whole bunch. Uh, so now we need to put a little bit of redstone in there. Uh, so we should have some left over, I do believe. Yep, uh, we got to be pretty sparing on this. So, we oh, we actually need osmium to put in. We need at least one ingot of osmium. And I think we're out of all of the osmium for now. Uh, because if we look here, we need at least one of these guys, uh, which is an osmium ingot with redstone to get it. <clears throat> and then we'll have no problem making the the uh, logical transporter cables. Uh, so yeah, if we double click here, oops, we can search it. Yeah, we only have one there. So I'm gonna go AFK for a bit uh, after this. Um, but yeah, uh, I would do the the coal first, but I don't wanna waste any of the coal. Uh, so yeah, give me a sec. All right guys, uh, sorry that it's raining here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and kind of get this show on the road. All right, so we just need two redstone for that. No problemo. We are going to have to do more later. And then I want to do eight of these, so I'm going to get 16 coal in there. Because I believe it only uses two. Let's see. All right. I found that I started using mechanism. Oh, it only uses one. I started. I found that I started using mechanism. Uh, the more I just continue to use it, because uh, I just it's it's an amazing mod. If you guys don't that haven't used mechanism, I would highly recommend checking it out. All right. Yep, we are getting osmium here. Very cool. Then after they're all uh, turned to enriched iron, we just put them through again. And then they'll process up into steel dust, and we can smelt them up, and then we're good to go. Yeah, these guys here. So steel dust uses here. We can put them on a muffling upgrade, or we can smelt them up into steel and make ourselves the basic logistical transporters. Uh, so we're going to be looking into mechanism here real quick, because we do need one of these guys. Uh, so that is going to require a bit more of... Um, iron to be made up after the steel is being processed uh, but th what this does is it allow us to configure you know to pull items out of an inventory as uh, so we're going to need some gold uh, some more redstone and more iron as well so this is all the redstone we got here but we do got plenty of gold for this so i'm very excited about that uh, and then now yep we can take these four boys put them in here start smelting up the the steel very very excited all right, guys, so we have everything we need here to go ahead and make this. Uh, so, yep, we got the energy tablet here. We don't even need to charge it for it to work, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, so we just need that and a stick. So now we have everything here. Bam. All right, so that's the configurator. Uh, we need to make the basic logistical cables. If we look here. Yep, we got all eight of them. All right, so we're going to make eight of these cables, and then we are going to make... Uh, some of these cables as well to go with, um, you know, supply and power and everything to our, our guys. So with that being done, that should be everything we need to set up the automatic um, processing here. So unfortunately, I'm going to leave this chest up above for a while. Uh, and then, oof, I didn't realize we had that much of a backlog. All right, we'll get this stuff in there real quick. And then uh, I'm going to break this. It's going to let out a bunch of cobble. Yep, that's okay. I'm just going to put it back in here for now. We'll, we'll, we'll transfer all of that over soon. 
Uh, so we're gonna grab that, put the cobble in here, put this over here, and I wanna show you guys uh, our new platform that we're gonna be putting all of this on. Uh, this is a 15 by 15 platform. We're gonna be putting fences all around here so it won't be falling off. But yeah, toward the back here, this is where our automatic processing is gonna be. I'm pretty sure eventually we're gonna either bring this down or bring the outside up a little bit so we can have it kinda in the wall and kind of a walkway growing around. I think that'll look really cool. So let's go ahead, finish finish this up. We gotta collect these guys here. Ooh, that was quick to break. We don't need that any that there anymore. Okay. Do I have I do have some of this here. Did we get it all? Yes. We're, ooh. What? Okay. Yep, so we're gonna take the mesh out so we don't lose it. We're gonna put the mesh in here just for now. Had a feeling that would happen. All right, we got those. We'll put those in there, that in there, grab the mesh. Okay, so I believe we have everything that we require to get this far departed. All right, so the cobblestone generator is gonna be in the middle here. And then we're going to have the auto hammer here, and then the auto sieve. So how we're going to do it, uh, we're going to have it coming out of a drawer. I need to go pick one of those up real quick. There we go. Uh, all of the items are going to be pumped out of here. Uh, yeah. And we're going to have it come down like so. And then we're going to set this to items. Yep, like so. We're going to pull out. As you can see, those are getting put in there. We can put both of those in there. As soon as it gets power, it's going to start running like crazy. And then probably going to run power down below. Uh, so let's get that set up. So we're going to have... Whoops, not you. This guy here. And then I'm going to need to break that, then do that, then that, then that. Perfect. So when we do that, yep, it's going to be instantly going over. Amazing. And then we can put the, the slabs back, and you don't even see the power. So this does give us the ability to now pump items out the back here and over. So we're going to go bing, bing. Oops, that's empty. Configure items. Click it three times. Pulling out. No. Do we really have to pull out of the bottom? Oh, do we need, need to put the mesh in? Yes, we just need to put the mesh in. Perfect. Okay. So that makes me excited. And the other cool thing is we can just set up a chest over to the right to store everything. Because we can just make it so that they don't connect up toward the top. Actually. No, because we can only do one way. I was going to say we can just pull out the top. Pull out the, yeah, unfortunately it won't work. Which is a bummer. Um, We're looking for wood chest. I think we used up all of our wood. Okay, so one thing we're going to do really fast before we wrap up, because we are become, we are getting to the end of the video here. Uh, so that's going to be our output chest. We are also going to be creating um, the auto compressor, which will turn things into their compressed form. So basically the two by two. Oh, we've only got three of those. There we go. we got more. All right, we need one more crafting table, like so, and then we should be able to craft it, yes. So for power, this thing will compress it down into its final form. Haha, <laughs> not even my final form, but it is. Um, we'll put it in here like so. We'll just get some power like that, and then put it here. And then I'll show you guys. So if we take, do we have four? Yes, we have four uh, copper. It's going to, boom, put it into the copper ore chunk, and then it'll just punch it out here. 
So next we're gonna take the basic logistical cable like that. We need to cut it off here so they're not communicating. And then we're gonna be pulling out the top. And so anything that can't go in here is gonna go into the back there. So we're gonna set that to put in. And then we're gonna finish up with our two cables by breaking that off. Get out of there. And we're gonna be pulling items out and putting them into this chest. So now we have everything automated. Now, unfortunately, if this does run out of room, these items are gonna go over, which is actually, is there anything that gets sifted that can't go? So what we might do is do that. And so what this will do is any item that can be taken out of here and compressed again, it'll throw it in here once it's available. So this is literally all automatic, guys. We don't have to touch this anymore. The only thing that we really need to do is upgrade, you know, have more power going through the system. Um, but that isn't bad at all. So let's see, what do we need to do next here? Yeah, the, we need to get into the energized stuff, which we don't have the ability to do that just yet. So we might just need to make another one of these guys and pump coal into both of them. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.